Welcome to Hyperbaric Living and I'm Dr. Masha. Today I'd like to talk to you about hyperbaric oxygen therapy and long COVID. There was a new study that just came out this week that looked at effects of hyperbaric oxygen therapy on long COVID symptoms. Let's see what researchers have found. Please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to receive more videos about hyperbaric oxygen therapy. As of January 2022, more than 300 million people were infected with SARS-CoV-2 infection. About 10 to 30 percent go on to develop long COVID. It's a collection of symptoms that usually persists for more than three months and cannot be explained by any other diagnosis. Symptoms developed after a person has passed COVID infection. World Health Organization recognized long COVID and constantly looking for therapy and pharmacological agents to help improve symptoms. Symptoms include but are not limited to fatigue, brain fog, lack of concentration, poor memory, loss of taste and smell, insomnia, diffuse pain in muscles and joints. There could be very different symptoms but they're all united by the fact that a person has developed the symptoms after the COVID infection. The mechanism behind long COVID is still unknown. We're thinking that it might be due to lack of oxygen during the COVID infection, hypoxia, or direct interaction of virus with brain cells. In any case, many therapies have been tried to help people suffering from long COVID, and hyperbaric oxygen therapy is one of those therapies. In this particular study that I'd like to talk to you about, they looked at 73 volunteers, all of them had long COVID, and these people were divided in two groups. One group received hyperbaric oxygen therapy. They received a total of 40 sessions, 90 minutes each, and the sessions were administered at two atmospheres with oxygen mask that was kept 20 minutes on and five minutes off. Second group didn't know whether they received hyperbaric oxygen therapy or not. The trick was that they increased the pressure initially to 1.2 atmospheres and then in several minutes decreased it back to 1.03 atmospheres. And then they compared the results. So a group that received hyperbaric oxygen treatment saw improvement in many symptoms and most marked improvement were in depression and anxiety scores, as well as in fatigue scores and executive functions were improved, memory, planning, concentration. A second group that didn't get hyperbaric oxygen therapy saw some improvement in some of the symptoms. And this could be due just to the natural course of disease because with time, symptoms generally improve. The problem that not all of the symptoms improve and that they improve at a very slow rate. A similar study was done in November 2021 when 10 people received hyperbaric oxygen treatments. 10 people received in total 10 sessions at 2.4 atmospheres and the sessions were 105 minutes each. Oxygen was administered again 30 minutes intervals with a five minute break and results were comparable. We saw a huge decrease in fatigue scores and also increase in general sense of well-being and all participants reported that their lives were transformed by hyperbaric oxygen treatments. Why hyperbaric oxygen therapy works for long COVID? Researchers believe that it's due to better brain perfusion and neuroplasticity. Neuroplasticity is a phenomenon when brain can repair itself. It can rewire after a certain disease or trauma, a certain event in life. It's looking for ways to overcome effects of that trauma. And we know from clinical and preclinical trials that this neuroplasticity is due to effects of hyperbaric oxygen therapy. And I'm talking about improved blood flow, increased mitochondrial function, stem cell mobilization, anti-inflammatory effects of hyperbarics, and also new blood vessel formation. 
situation. These great results give us a lot of hope. So we know that hyperbaric oxygen therapy is safe. None of the participants experienced any side effects. We need some more information though. We need to know what is the optimal number of sessions that a person should receive for complete resolution of symptoms. We'd like to know more about the pressure that should be applied. Because if you look at these two studies, in one study they used 2.4 atmospheres and another study, most recent, used two atmospheres. What is the frequency of the treatments? How long should the session last? I hope all these questions will be answered in future studies and once this research becomes available, I'll make sure to share it with you. Thank you for watching and please leave comments in the comment section below if you used hyperbaric oxygen therapy for long COVID and what results did you get? Maybe you know someone who used hyperbaric oxygen therapy for COVID and long COVID. I'd like to hear your opinions. See you next week.